Alrighty guys, uh, we got a cool little video to slap on you here today. Uh, one of my good buddies, Chad, has come over and uh, it's been pretty cool getting to meet him. And uh, he's got a wicked cool 72 Plymouth Valiant we're about to show you guys. And uh, y'all don't forget, uh, keep sending me those videos. Uh, if you got a cool hot rod or cool project you wanna see on the channel, we'll slap that bad boy up on there and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's go see what he's got going on and we'll get back on to the episode here and uh, we got some super cool stuff to show you all today. So stay tuned. Hello, my name's Chad Bennett. This is my 1971 Plymouth Valiant. It's set for 15 years. The old guy had it before me. Uh, he drove it back and forth to school for a while and then uh, they, uh, the brakes went bad on it and they said they couldn't find no parts so I, I picked it up for 500 bucks. Found all, ran drum brakes for a long time and then finally got the money to uh, convert over to uh, disc brakes in the front. Swapped out the rear end so I can have the big bolt pattern all the way around. Bought uh, the Mopar rallies, and uh, that's about all I've done to it besides four shocks and spark plugs and wires. Factory 318 with the uh, AC, but AC don't work. I'm just driving around. Heck yeah, man. Around. Well, that's super cool, brother. Um, I'm glad you brought it over, man. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only person that's got a four door old hot rod you know i mean most of the yeah. people had crushed them got rid of them but man we're still rocking them i love the ride i'm glad you brought it over man thank you it's your thing man all righty guys welcome back to another episode uh this weekend we got a lot of sanding a lot of grinding and all kinds of craziness going on for you so uh i want to show something new to the shop here we got ourselves a new sander and this is what you call a pop sander and i've uh, seen these things online and they look pretty wicked you can also uh, adjust the speed of them, how fast they'll rev up. And uh, this thing's pretty wicked. It's so, like when you put it over a pop, it'll actually kind of form to the shape of the pop. And uh, that's pretty cool. So it'll actually keep a rounded shape to your round material when you're sanding. So what I've kind of found out to kind of make this process go pretty quick, it's like you'll take like a grinder with an aggressive, very, very aggressive wheel on it and uh, you'll grind down the welds pretty far and then you'll come back with a pop sander and you'll just get right after it and uh, you know kind of get it smooth so you can kind of see here what all we've got done so far and uh, i know it looks pretty rough looking but right now we're on a very coarse grit uh, we also cannot forget definitely got to have our uh, safety protection on uh, this aluminum dust is very very nasty so be sure to have you some sort of breathing mask on but we're going to get to sanding give you a little bit of preview how this works and we're going to get into the episode so let's get after it Okay, so we just got that uh, boost pop all sanded up and I've still got a little bit more sand to do on that. And uh, let's go over here and see what Mr. Jesse and Mr. Chad's up to. Definitely gotta keep giving a big thanks to those two guys uh, that came out and helping. And uh, Chad's got a super cool ride and he's like, hey, he said, what can I help on your ride? And uh, he's like, I wanna hang out and have a good time. So we're gonna keep on rocking and uh, let's see what those guys are doing.
on the new side of the shop. Uh, we just got the boost pipe all sanded down. Uh, I'll let you guys see it in just a second. It's looking pretty good. Uh, so to get you guys all caught up, Jesse has been cleaning all of our door jams up and these things are looking awesome. He's got all the paint out of them and they're looking super clean. Right now he's on the passenger side. He's finishing up that side over there. So it'll look super clean for you guys at Streetcar Takeover. So let's go look at the boost pipe real quick. So Hannah, let's walk over here. We also have the shop supervisor right there. She's helping. Crack the whip, Annie. That's right. Okay, so uh, pull the sheet back here. So we've got the pipe all smoothed up and uh, we still got a few little rough spots on it and areas I still need to sand down, but uh, it's getting really close to being ready for powder coating. So we're gonna powder coat it, get looking really smooth and just to kind of hit on it again, the reason why I smoothed all the welds down it's because this is the first time I ever welded aluminum and it looked kind of rough. So we had to clean it up. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's get back on the car and show you guys what we're gonna be working on. Okay guys, so uh, as you can tell, we took the wheel off yet again. And now it's time to finish a little corner piece we got in there. We're gonna lift the car up here in just a second and we'll show that to you guys. A bar up his butt right now, so it's pretty bad. Exactly. Future Atlas lift, guys. This is rough. <laughs> Need to fabricate like a saddle or something. <laughs> Sit here all day long, but right now. But it's numb, it's alright. So <laughs> it's all good. Jesse needs a butt pad. It could be uh, rough. <laughs> All Jesse is doing there right now, he is cleaning up all of the door mounting bolts that mounts the door to the car. And uh, he's just getting all the threads cleaned up. So when we go to assemble it back, everything just goes back together like a brand new one. Can't thank you enough, That's Jesse. That's it, man. You go this far, might as well do it right while you got it in a million pieces. <laughs> That's right. And we definitely have this thing in a million pieces. You can see it over there. Doors are off. And uh, Jesse, he has been doing a killer job of me. Look at all that, it looks awesome. And uh, when we go to the streetcar takeover, this thing is gonna look like a brand new piece of metal. He has been rocking and rolling. So we're just gonna keep on the rocking and I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying. Alrighty guys, so we came up against another problem here as always, one more problem after another, but that's part of it. You just gotta figure out what to do. So this is a little corner piece that we've got to make and once we get the car up in there, I'll show you guys. It's literally just right up underneath here. And you can kind of see how complicated this bad boy is and this piece isn't going to work. So instead of showing you guys all that footage, I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, we're running out of time for this weekend. So next weekend, you guys will get to see how we're going to create this piece. And again, this one isn't even going to work. I've got to remake it again. And sometimes that's just how this stuff works out. So uh, we'll just kind of look over everything as we end out this video today. Uh, Mr. Jesse has been working super hard. You know, him and Dylan Woodfin have been sanding and have been working on this chassis, getting it all smoothed up and clean looking. So this thing is looking on point for you guys. Um, show you the other door well. Jesse's been working on. It's looking super good. Um, also, uh, Chad came over and he helped us out a little bit. Uh, he wanted to hang out and have a good time. And he also helped us work on the doors and finish up the last door. So we're getting this car to look pretty good. I'm really excited about it. Uh, we definitely want to thank everyone for staying tuned with us and uh, watching this build come whole here. So until next time, you guys have a good one. Be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you guys be sure to send me those videos on uh, your project, what you got going on. We want to see it and uh, we want to share it. So that's enough of me talking. It's time to get out of here. Y'all have a good one.